Hey gang, it's Maria here from GoalieTrainingPro.com and um, I got out my little craft paper and put this together for you because July 1st is sort of a critical period for me. In the gym, uh, and I've had it ever since I've been a strength coach, so over 20 years, uh, I either feel panic or I feel good and when I feel good it's when you know our, our hockey players are getting their 300 yard shuttles in under 60 seconds um, you know their mobility is improving the, the the form on lateral speed is good they're getting good core stabilization their hip drive is I mean depends on the age but for our higher end guys in the 300 400 pound range their um, hex bar deadlifts or you know in the in the 275 400 plus pound range. Their single leg squat looks great. I feel awesome. Um, some, we often get a lot of phone calls uh, this time of year with kids maybe just finishing high school and now they're looking to focus on their off season training. And that makes me feel a little bit panicked because um, the, the best time to start your off season training was May 1st. <laughs> but the second best time to start is today or tomorrow. So. Uh, what I wanted to do is, if it, so it's around July 1st, if you're just starting your off-season training right now, um, you might feel panicked, and, and that's okay, because really you don't have a lot of time to play around with, but there's still time to get everything you need, to get that mobility, uh, build some strength, work on your movement efficiency, build the stability you need, translate that into speed and agility, and then build the stamina. Are you gonna get the same results as somebody who's been training since May 1st? No. Are you still gonna make huge improvements and be able to salvage your season for this coming year? Yes. So, um, what I did is I've sort of blocked out, uh, we have about 10 weeks, give or take, before you're on the ice really um, with your team. I know everybody has different playoffs, but I've sort of mapped out what you should be focusing on because I know also some of you are just gonna Try to jump right into the program. Again, we get the same thing, phone calls. I just really need to work on my speed. The coach said it had to be faster this year. I just want to work on speed. Well, it doesn't work that way because speed is a combination of a lot of things. And so, you know, first, yeah, you have to be able to move. If you can't move, you're not going to be fast. Uh, you have to be able to stabilize. If you can't stabilize, you're not going to be fast. Building your strength is the number one way we can make you faster. So we need to make you stronger. Then we need to teach you proper techniques so your movement is efficient so that you're getting every ounce of speed uh, potential that you have. So it takes time. And if you just you know jump in with the internet and Instagram, I know it's easy to do, jump right into, well, plyometrics are, are make you more powerful. Uh, I saw a guy, an NHL guy doing plyometrics. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna try to jump up onto a high box and, and get as high as I can. Unfortunately, that is not going to get you the results that you want. The downside too is sort of a hidden downside is that it's going to be setting you up for an injury and that injury isn't likely to occur in the first three, four, five, six, even seven weeks. It's tend to sneak up on you in the eighth, ninth, tenth week, really just about the time you're hitting your play, uh, your tryouts. So that's what we 100% absolutely don't want. There are very few goalies who can go to tryouts, get injured, and still make a spot on that team. So let's let's just not gamble with it and let's follow a proven system. So I've sort of mapped out these two week blocks for you. The first week, and it's hard because you're gonna wanna hit it hard, but your emphasis needs to be on stability and prehab. So learning how to stabilize, I have a little picture of a core plank. You will not, be doing crunches or sit-ups or anything like that. That is not core stabilization. It actually uh, damages your, your low back or contributes to overuse injuries of your low back, such as lumbar disc herniations, which are really serious injuries. So if your idea of core training includes any kind of crunches, then um, you got lots to learn. <laughs> yeah, we can do it way, way better. So, and it's not just core planks. We're going to do some ground-based core stabilization training too, the way that you need it when you're on the ice. In this, you can start some basic energy system development as well. That's totally fine, but keeping the volume relatively low. And I know it's hard because you want to stomp on the gas, but you need to build into it. Then we will go into your strength phase, which is working on um, mobility and strength. So I drew, I got my pictures switched. This is you. Not really worried about your biceps, but. <laughs> um, 
So, and this strength needs to be a functional type of strength. So not, um, like if you're using knee extension machine, hamstring curl machine, leg press machine, groin machine, chest press machine, rowing machine, lat pull down machine, you're really losing a lot of the potential there because again, one of the key ingredients to being strong and explosive and fast is being able to stabilize the force that you can produce. And you don't learn that if you're training on machines. So when you train away from machines, um, like the exercises that I show you, that gives you sort of more bang for your buck because you're learning to stabilize and control your joints. Then we start working on some speed. So we still do work on mobility, we still work on our strength, but we add in our speed and agility with an emphasis on executing the movements with proper patterns because then we save energy over a game so we don't run out of gas by you know, way overshooting uh, where we're supposed to be. So there's you going fast as anything. And that again, that stop, start, change of direction, up, down. Um, then stamina comes in. So we'll still work mobility. We change our strength to a little bit of metabolic strength training, um, which will also improve your cardiovascular system. And then we continue with some plyometrics and agility training. Uh, and then the last phase is going to be your mobility or your specialization phase. So taking everything and, and again, just funneling it into more goalie specific movements, more goalie specific energy systems with mobility, plyometrics and agility, and that functional goalie type of strength. So that's what you should be working on if you just have these 10 weeks to focus on. Um, if you are, um, you know, like playing men's league or you haven't really done goalie specific training before, um, I got a deal on the Rapid Response Goalie Training Program that you can pick up right now at Rapid Response Goalie Training Hmm. might just be rapid response training. I'll put the, I'll put the link below, um, but it's only available for the next few days um, because I, I only open it up for release once a year. And this is, this is the time because you you're the guys who need it. If you're more advanced than that, playing at a higher level or you've done goalie specific or you know, pretty serious off ice training in the past, then you can private message me or email me directly to ask for what uh, is the option for you. I have a little, probably a little better option for you, but if you're, you know, 14, 15, 16, haven't really done a lot of off ice training before, or you're a beer league, adult league player who doesn't have a lot of time to train and you want an option to train at home, then it's rapid response goalie training for you. And again, you can only get it for the next few days. Uh, otherwise, you can head over to goalietrainingpro.com um, and use the search box at the bottom and try to piece it together yourself. That's that's another option to do a little bit of trial and error that way. Um, you know, it's, it's probably going to be better than nothing. So two week blocks, stability is the emphasis to start, then strength, then speed, then stamina, and then specialization. And it's not clear lines. It's more like a pyramid. There's overlap, but that's how you're going to lay it out. Best of luck. Start today, tomorrow at the latest. <laughs> I'm feeling a little panicked for you. <laughs> Cheers.